In this Canva review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this design tool. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for Canva. Canva is a powerful design tool that can be used in education to create projects that not only look great, but can also help teach students the basics of digital design. Once you log into Canva, as we can see, we can select what we're using it for. So that could be a large company, non-profit or charity, small business, student, teacher, or personal. And then this will recommend designs and templates depending on what we select. So I'm just gonna go for small business. And as we can see, we've got loads of different templates here. You also have the option to search for specific content but first, let's just have a look at the different templates. So this is our recommended for you. We've got Play With Canva, Whiteboard, Presentation, Video, Instagram Post Square, Poster, etc. We've got Whiteboard, so we've got Normal Whiteboard, Brainstorm Whiteboard, Flowchart, and more. We have Presentations, Social Media, Videos, Print Products, marketing and more. So I'm gonna first go on Instagram post square, click on there, and this brings us over to the design editor. Now in this section here, we have templates. Again, you can search for a specific Instagram post template, or we do have some filters at the top where you could search via the color or the language. There's also some tags at the top if you wanted to click them like Labor Day, quote, September, sale, and they're just some different tags. So I'm gonna go for this one to start with. Now, if you didn't wanna use a template, you can just go straight past this and drag in your own picture and design, but I'm just gonna use this just for the sake of this. So first, we can edit the text. We can edit the text at the top. Obviously, that's got a site there. We could put our site in there and our own motto in there. For the text, for example, we can choose the font. We can choose the size, the color. We can put it bold or italic set the alignment, set it as a list if we wanted to, spacing, effects, so we could add that like neon or glitch, and then we've also got the option to animate the text as well, so we could go for that one. You can obviously do this for all the pieces of text, or just any element, as we can see even that line there, we can animate that, change the position, we can also copy the style, change the transparency, link it or lock it. Under templates, we have elements. Here is where we can drag in various different types of elements. We've got lines and shapes. If we wanted another one of those lines, we could drag one in and place that wherever we wanted to. There's also various different graphics like rips, got stickers, photos, videos, charts, tables, frames, grids, all different kinds of collections as well. We could click onto this collection and then we could drag in some 3D blocky shapes. So there's loads of different customization options there. Below elements, we also have uploads. Here you can upload files or you could also record yourself. So you can upload images, videos and audio. So say if for the background, I wanted to use my own background instead of this one, but still keep it similar to the template. If we upload a picture, you could just drag that, and as we can see, that will change the background. You can also do this for videos, and you can also stick audio on there as well. Below uploads, we have text. Here, again, you can search for specific type of text. Depends on what you're looking for, or we have a whole variety of different texts here. So you've got things from like menus to glitchy sort of text, and if you drag that in, same as before, you can just edit that. Now, if you wanted to undo something, we do have the undo button at the top there. Same with redo. Also at the top, we have file, where we can create new design, show rulers and guides, show margins, show print bleed, find and replace text, save, save to folder, view all comments, version history, make a copy, download, and open in desktop app. It's also automatically saving, as we can see there, all changes are saved. You have the option of title in the post, insights, and also how long it will play. As we've got that animation on the text, this is gonna work as a video. 
So we can see it's animated for five seconds. You can edit the time in there and you could make it go slower or faster. We also have the more section where you can access even more content to create amazing designs. We've got other apps in there such as Bitmoji, Draw, which is in beta, where you can create simple sketches on top of your work. We have Giphy, Emojis, Google Maps. You can import media from all of these social medias here. So there's loads of different options there. You can also set the size that you want to edit this in. You can zoom in or zoom out. And you can also add a page at the bottom there as well. Once you're happy, if you go and share. Now there's only one person in my team. If I wanted to add someone else into my team, I could add on them there and add their email address. And then this could be shared with them. We can also copy the link, put it straight to Instagram, download it, share on social, print your design or more, which has loads of different sharing options. If we go back onto home, as we can see, this was just the Instagram post template. There is loads of different templates to go through. If we go onto templates, we can see we can filter this by whatever. We could do this for Labor Day, food, birthday, business, etc. We also have the suggested for us and an inspired by your last design. And there's loads of different templates to choose from. So if you wanted to use a video, say a mobile video, then we could create a blank mobile video or select from one of these templates. So if I wanted to go for the stop noise pollution, we could go and customize this template and this will take us over to the editor. Now, obviously the editor is similar to before, but this is working for a video. As you can see here, we've got the timeline. We can always add a page if we wanted to add some text at the end. We can add in those similar elements as before, upload our own media. We could do images or videos or audio and add our text. We can also adjust the timeline at the bottom so we can make sections longer or shorter. Under templates, we also have projects. Any projects we've worked on will show here. So as you can see, we've got our video that we were just working on then and then our Instagram test post as well. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of Canva? Well, I do actually have some experience with Canva and I still occasionally use it to this day. Canva really does make digital design super easy and it's also a brilliant way to learn and get better at it. There's such a huge array of templates that you can create a design for whatever you're looking for. I would definitely recommend Canva. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.